presentation is for all students entering grade 11 in September of 2022. Welcome to the class of 2024. All students in British Columbia are in the 2018 graduation program. There are a number of requirements that must be met and it's our job at GW Graham to make sure our students get these credits done. All students must successfully complete English grade 10, 11, and 12. All students must successfully complete social studies 10 and 11 or 12. Science at the grade 10 and 11 level is required. 12 is an optional. Math at grade 10 and 11 is required. Again, math 12 is optional. PE 10 is a required course that is not optional and must be completed before a student graduates from high school. Career, ed career life education at the grade 10 level is worth four credits. At grade 11, it's worth two credits. And at grade 12, it's worth another two credits to total eight credits total for career education. Students are also required to do a fine arts or applied skill at least one course at the grade 10, 11, or 12 level plus an additional 28 credits, that's seven courses. Of those credits, uh, 16 must be at the grade 12 level. Four of those are from English 12, four of those are from career ed, and the other eight, course, other eight credits are from additional courses. We have assessments that are provided at the grade 10, 11, and 12 level, and they are required for graduation. This is another way to look at it. At the grade 11 level, we make sure that students are successful in an English uh, 11, a math 11, a science 11, and a social studies 11 or 12. Students must also take four elective credits and they will be assigned to uh, career life connections at 12A. This is what the course selection form looks like for grade 11s. It is yellow. Uh, students are uh, required to choose one of the English courses that's available, one of the social studies 11 or 12 courses that's available, one of the science courses that's available and one of the math courses that's available. Uh, they are required to add in four electives and those electives um, can be academic or non-academic. It depends on what your passion is. Students are also required to fill in the alternative elective programs. Those are your backup plan, just in case you aren't able to get the ones from your first choices. If a student wishes to have outside of the timetable courses, this is the place you will enter those and those courses run outside the regular timetable and are in addition to your uh, required courses. If you have any specific information you think the counselor needs to know, you're going to add it in here and please make sure your parents have seen the form, signed it and they have uh, approved of your choices. If you're interested in work experience and you want, you want to have a job and you want to get credits for that job, um, please make sure you check this off and make sure you've connected with Ms. Wiseman or Ms. McConnell about getting credits for work experience. This course selection form is to be completed and submitted to your teacher uh, once you have completed it and done your uh, course requests in Mayette. Uh, Graham has many, many academic opportunities and this is just a short summary of the academic opportunities that are available. All the descriptions are in the course planning book, as are the elective opportunities and the non-academic opportunities. All students are required to complete English at the grade 9, 10, 11, and 12 level. At grade 11, you have a number of different options to choose from, and you need to uh, look in the course book to find out what the difference are between creative writing, literary studies with elaborations, literary studies, and new media. Please read these carefully and decide which um, English format is going to be suit your learning style best. Creative writing, focused literary studies, focused literary studies with elaborations, which is a good prep for AP English if you're interested in, and there's also a new media option. Please be aware that students wishing to go to the United States for any um, university, new media is often not recognized by American universities, and you need to be aware of that. Mathematics. Grade 11 math is the last time math is required. However, it is often needed for other programs, so please make sure you're making the correct choice. Grade 11 options are workplace math, foundations of math 11, and pre-calculus math 11. Which choice you want to take, you can find the information very specifically in pages 45, 46 in the course planning booklet. Please read this very carefully as this is a 
uh, important information to help you make decisions moving forward. Grade 10 science is the last time students have a, have a general science program. After that, they choose the five different streams that are available at GW Graham, chemistry, life sciences or biology, physics, earth science or science for citizens. Grade 11 is the last time that students are required to take a science course. However, many university programs re require that students have one or more sciences at the grade 11 or 12 level. Please plan carefully when taking your science courses. Talk to your teachers, talk to your counselors, talk to your parents. Social studies is also required at the grade 11 or 12 level in order to graduate and the GW Graham uh, Senior Social Studies Department has many options available. Once a student has completed Social Studies 10, they can take any of the grade 11 or 12 Social Studies courses that are offered at GW Graham. There's a wide variety of courses and every single one of them is recognized by Canadian universities as an approved grade 12 course. Students can, are encouraged to take more than one social studies course if they're interested in pursuing any post-secondary courses. GW Graham offers advanced placement courses. These are courses that are sponsored by the College Board from the United States. It, is, it can be equivalent to the first year of college or university, completing that in their high school years. There is a potential to gain university credit. It's not guaranteed, but it is a potential. Uh, with a focus on academic rigor, advanced laboratory techniques in uh, science courses, 20th, 21st century learning, post-secondary preparation. AP courses that are offered at GW Graham for 2022 are AP Biology, AP Calculus, AP Chemistry, and AP English. Plan ahead if you're going to take uh, an AP course in your grade 12 year. Classes will only run with their sufficient enrollment. AP Literature and Composition is a linear course that uh, includes English Studies 12, Literary Studies 12, and AP Literature and Composition. It is worth 12 credits. This program is designed for students with a love of literature who wish to delve deeper into the literary analysis of novels, praise, poetry, and more. Students will read a variety of representative works from different literary periods, authors, genres, styles, and topics. Although this course is open to any grade 12 student, it is recommended the students have a B or better in their English 11 course. Literary studies is preferred but not required and excellent work habits is a suggestion. Students may choose to take the AP Lit exam in May and this may, depending on their mark, they may get university credits for this course. For AP Biology, this is uh, advanced placement can begin in grade 11. Students with a strong foundation in grade 10 might look to take the Biology 11 Honors Program. In grade 12, students would take the AP Biology, which is a combination of Anatomy and Physiology 12 and AP Biology 12, which is an eight credit all year course. Student is designed for students who wish to pursue a career in health sciences, medicine, nursing, dentistry, physiotherapy, veterinary medicine, microbiology, to name a few. AP Chemistry is also offered at GW Graham. This is Chemistry 12 and then some. Students take their, their normal Chemistry 12 course, which makes up about 75% of the AP framework. There are an additional semester covering kinetics, rate law, thermochemistry, thermodynamics, gas laws, and spectroscopy. There is preparation for the exam in May with post-exam advanced units being run. The student is, this program is designed for students who are interested to pursue a career in STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. How can I prepare if I'm interested in AP courses in grade 12? Senior science honors courses are recommended but not required if you're interested, so such as chemistry 11 honors or biology 11 honors, AP chemistry honors are not necessary for entering, but uh, I suggest it makes it a little bit easier um, once you start the program. For AP Biology, honors is recommended but is not required, it, but it does help students prepare for their AP curriculum. Please expect a significant amount of homework and rigor. Uh, with Calculus 12 and AP Calculus 12, these are very similar courses in that they have the same curriculum and both have an, op an optional exam uh, that can provide university credit. 
How are they different? Calculus 12 is assessed at the grade 12 level with a school-based final exam. AP Calc 12 is um, assessed at the university level to prepare for the AP exam in May. Which one would I take? It kind of depends on what your career goals are. If you're interested, if you want to prepare for university, then take Calculus 12 and plan to retake it again at university. If you want to try to get university credit before you start university, then AP Calc 12 may be an option for you. Additional requirements that students need to be aware of are the Literacy Assessment 10, the Numeracy Assessment 10, and the Literacy Assessment 12. All of these programs are required at, uh, in British Columbia and students will be informed as to when they are required to write these assessments. Work experience is available for students. Um, if you have volunteer or work hours, that's awesome because you'll need that for graduation. If you have a job, you can get grad credits towards that job. In order to do so, you must sign up with Ms. McConnell or Ms. Wiseman. Um, you can get credits, but not until you start the initial registration process. Please be aware that Ms. McCall and Ms. Wiseman will be coming around to classes and providing information over the next few weeks. Course planning in February. Um, please make sure you are accessing the website so you can see all the different bits of information that are there. Planning information is going to be happening during term three classes. Please take the time to talk to teachers, parents, and counselors. Investigate your post-secondary requirements. Check into my blueprint. Talk to the career advisors. Get your own course planning booklet. Um, it's on the GW Graham website. Um, you're going to complete your course selection form and use that to enter your course selections into your MyEd account. And please make sure you're submitting your course selection form to your teacher uh, by February 22nd. The Graham course booklet and planning guide is 68 pages full of information of all the different programs and all the different courses that run at GW Graham. Please make sure you get a, either a hard copy of it by getting one from the school or you can download one on the school website by clicking the course selection button once you have gone on to the school website. This is all the information you need about all the different programs, all the different courses and will tell you the prerequisites that are required in order for a student to make good choices with their course selection. Once you've done all your research, talk to your parents, talk to your teachers, uh, looked in the course selection booklet, it's time to complete your course selection form. Please make sure you're doing this very carefully and you're using the yellow grade 11 form. You're going to complete this form carefully, making sure you have the four required courses, that's English, Social Science and Math, four elective courses, the two, the three alternate second, secondary choices. Check your specialty programs if you're interested in finding out more about that. Um, if you have a job or you're interested in getting one and getting credits, you want to check the work experience uh, program. Your parents need to sign the form to make sure they support your decisions. And then you're going to enter your request into your MyEd account. When it's all said and done, you're going to submit your form to your teacher uh, by February 22nd. And then you will, we will start the process for creating courses for next year. As you're entering into grade 11, remember you're only one year away from entering into grade 12 and it's never too early to start planning. Familiarize yourself with the school website and the GW Graham Financials Award. Follow the various social media we, accounts we have. There's an Instagram, there's a Facebook. Sign up for different scholarship accounts. Start volunteering. See Ms. Wise, Ms. Wiseman if you need some opportunities. Consider adding more extracurricular activities or community events to your day. Research post-secondary options. My blueprint is a great tool, as are um, talking to various people in your world. Attend post-secondary information sessions or campus tours. You do not have to be just in grade 12 to do this. Anybody is welcome to join these tours. Start creating your scholarship resume so it's very robust by the time you need it in your grade 12 year. Please make sure you're taking the courses that you need to fill your entrance requirements for the post-secondary program you may be planning. Uh, Career Life Education 10 interviews are ongoing with Mrs. Bottenheimer. That is part of your grad requirement for your career ed. Um, and remember, this must be completed in your grade 10 year. If you're unsuccessful in career ed 10, you will be rescheduled into it in your next year. 
once you have done all your research um, for your course planning, if you still have some questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your counselors or to the career advisors. You can contact us uh, through email, through Teams, a phone call. Uh, you can schedule a visit to meet with us. And we uh, look forward to um, helping you with any of the questions that you may have and hope this information has been helpful for you.